Okay, hello, welcome to another video and in this video we are going to be looking at Android 11 on the Galaxy Note 4 Exynos version. So, but first I want us to go through a, a certain post on XDA talking about it and the, I, I'm pretty sure some, some of you people will like it. So this is a uh, this is the post on XDA, the link will be in the description. The link to this post plus, plus uh, the ROM link on different, you know, two links. And then it's all about Android 8 and and talking about, this is this is a post by Anand, the, I think the main developer of this ROM. It talks about how this is Android, uh, Android 11, Linear OS 18.1 and he is going to be working on a Pixel Experience 11, so, which is gonna be awesome, I can't, I can't wait to review that one also. And uh, here, it also says it's going to be working on Android 12 also, hopefully for this phone, so, someone asked about Android 12 for the Galaxy Note 4 Exynos, so, that is one to look forward to. I can't wait. So if you scroll down the post, you just see a bunch of other stuff about uh, the, uh, the the TWRP, what, all those links that you'd like to download stuff, Lineage OS 17, and then talks about some bugs. And you know, But none of these rooms don't really have bugs. Anyway, they may have a few, but none that I've seen so far. So you just scroll down to the bottom of the post, you most likely find the, the link. So let's get into the video now. Let's get into installing Android 11. So just uh, reboot your phone into recovery mode. And uh, you, we, we did this when we were installing when we're installing Resolution Remix Android 10, so Android 11 li Linear OS 18, you just do the same thing. Uh, download the zip, um, extract it, remove that, um, remove a certain component at the top, and then yeah, just zip it up. This time I named it archive.zip, so just to show you guys that you can literally name it anything. So, first of all, you have to wipe the device. So go just make sure you don't wipe internal storage if you have your have your ROM in the internal storage. So as long as you've wiped the data and the system, you definitely have more than enough space to flush the ROM. So you just wipe those those major two things plus the cache and then you go install the ROM from whatever location it's in. And uh, that's it. I see archive.zip and it installs flashing system image unconditionally. So you just wait for it to be done. Once it's done, uh, it still brings that uh, that error, but that error is uh, I have not yet <laughs> I've not yet found out what exactly it means. But it brings that error at the end, but it really doesn't do anything. It's just a normal. I think it's not normal, but it's. Just something that you just need to ignore. And then you reboot the device, which will also take some time. First time reboot, but normally Lineage OS doesn't really take a long time if you reboot it without G apps because we haven't yet installed G apps right now in this room. So you just reboot the device, let it load patiently. This time I'm just going to, I just wanted to let it load throughout so that you can see how how long it will take but it doesn't really take that long for the first reboot of lineage os which is uh, it's faster than other rooms like like those other um, heavy heavy rooms this one is quick so once it's rebooted just go through the steps um, Whatever you need to do, just go through the steps, uh, follow the instructions, choose your language, and do the normal setup, and it will be done. Mm -hmm. 
by the way after this room after this video i'm going to go to the the customizations and everything about lineage was it using android 11 on this phone so that is going to be a fun video because i'm just going to customize it fully and it's it's gonna be nice it, it's going to be a nice video i'm looking forward to making it so you set up everything set up your fingerprint set up whatever you need to set up and um this is how they set up the fingerprint on this phone it's interesting you don't you don't tap you swipe so uh, that one using other other fingerprint device our fingerprint scanners when you come back to this one it's a bit weird to keep swiping instead of tapping so once you're you're done with everything you just uh, it's it's uh, it's a uh, it's a normal rom so just to confirm we are going to go to an about phone then we check the android rom as you can see it's android version 11 and you tap on it you can see the android 11 easter eggy thing and then yeah, that's it thanks for watching